Welcome to Parenting Essentials. This is the home of key strategies to parenting. You are welcome. My name is Oye, Oye Lyo, your parenting coach. Last week, I started off by talking about our expectations and I started off on us as parents, you as parents and caregiver. What were you expected to do this year? What were the things that you put down that this year I want to be a better parent? I want to make communication a priority. I want to give more time to my children. I want to really be a good model to my children. And I said, if you're not able to achieve it, next year is another great year. Map it out and think of how you can achieve them. And if you have been able to achieve everything you expected of yourself this year, I said, congratulations. And today I'll continue to talk about expectations. And today's expectation goes on our growing glory, our children. At the beginning of the year, we had expectations, a lot of leads that this particular child of mine, by the end of the year, she should be able to do this, he should be able to do that. A lot of milestones that we put down that we really want to achieve and see on our growing glory. And I want to say you have been doing an amazing work, even if you have not been able to see them. I'm here today to encourage you, never give up keep pushing the result is just right at the corner but i'll just say one thing that most of the time affect the manifestation or the reality of your expectation one major thing that can cause you not to see the result of your expectation or your children is having an unrealistic expectation i made a video on that in the past and i was talking about having an unrealistic expectation a whole lot of us are still in this dream having an unrealistic expectation when we have an unrealistic expectation and at the end of the day we can't see the result it can we can get frustrated we can get tired and worried and not very exhausted but when your expectations are realistic like you are not expecting a child of two years to achieve a milestone of six years not every child is a genius or special i know it's possible don't get me wrong in some cases some milestones can be like faster and achieved earlier but make sure that your expectations on your children are realistic if you don't have realistic expectation on your children you might end up getting no result you will get frustrated the child will be frustrated everyone at all will be frustrated and that will bring about sadness sorrows you will think less of yourself like you're not doing what you're supposed to do as parent you're not doing it right you're just doing it right you just need to check your expectation is this realistic you want your two years old to be reading and writing and be able to communicate well is it realistic don't forget this child is two years that is just an example Imagine me expecting my six years old children now to be able to drive the car. I want them to be able to go to school on their own. I want them to be able to cook for themselves. These are not realistic expectations. So let's wake up as parents and ensure that our expectations on our children are realistic. Now I'm back to those parents who really worked hard. You really tried. You resigned your job, you gave up everything because you want to help that your child, that particular child of yours that is struggling, you stayed at home, you prayed because you believe in prayers, but yet you can't see the result. I'm here to encourage you today, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. It will happen. You will laugh. I just want you to relax. Don't forget that your mental health must be in place. If you get frustrated, if your mental health is not in place, you won't be able to do more than coming here. I'm here to encourage all the super moms and super dads out there. I give it to you. You are doing it just right. Don't give up. But I really want you to take a moment and work on your mental health. Relax. Don't be stressed out. You're doing it just right. Everything is going to fall in place. The result is going to come at the right time. So I want you to please treat yourself at the end of the year. Please take a moment and rest. If you can get somebody to just look after that child today for you, in one day as this year is going to an end, and just give yourself a treat. Ensure you are healthy. Ensure your mental health is stable. Ensure it is stable. Your mental health must be intact so that you can get fresh strength 
to take care of that child or those children next year. So don't give up. The milestones are very low. In the scale of 10, you're supposed to achieve 8 to 9. But your child has only been able to achieve 1 or 2 out of 10. Just pat yourself at the back. Give that child a big smile. Don't worry. Next year is another year. That child will speak. Yes. That child will walk. Yes. That child will run. Yes. Your child will be able to climb the stairs. Yes. Your child will not have that phobia again. You are doing just right. Be strengthened. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Just take a moment if you are a believer of God. Take a moment to worship God and thank God for the strength He gave you this year. And upon that child and over those milestones that your child is supposed to achieve and couldn't. And also on that one point or two point your child was able to achieve this year. And look unto God for a better next year, 2022. Trust God and keep pushing. Everything is just going to be all right. These expectations are going to come to manifestation. I want to say, less jolly is a season of merry, season to rejoice and season to celebrate. Don't let those milestones that your child is not able to achieve deprive you of the joy of the season. Just give God praise. Don't forget, it's a season, season of greatness and Jesus is the reason for the season. Once again, to all super moms and dads out there, I say, well done. And I'll see you again in another episode next year, which is going to be the final episode for this year. I want to say thank you for staying by us from January to now. From all of us from the Vision Guide, we say thank you. Thank you for subscribing. For all our subscribers, to all our subscribers, we say thank you. We love you. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for your comment, for your like. Thank you for the personal and direct messages. Thank you for trusting us for your questions. And I'll see you again for the last Saturday in 2021. Once again, let's keep jolly, jolly, jolly. Let's keep celebrating the season of laughter. I am Oye. Don't forget, if you see my face for the first time, don't go anywhere. Make sure you click the subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Bye. Love you.